Hey guys, welcome. Welcome back to Inner Stage Window, um, our Saturday stream that's conversation between me and um, pretty much always Landon. Say hi, Landon. Hi, Landon. I'm back, <laughs> y'all. I feel like I've been gone forever. You haven't, though. It was just one week. It was just one week and we played Among Us before that, so it's not been forever. Yes. I see, no. um, I see Brie already got first. Welcome, Brie. Welcome, Mochi. And uh, Landon, I see you already redeemed seeing the baby, so let me turn Listen. the baby cam on. I know what I want and need in this world. Uh, <laughs> and them babies are it. There we go. There we go. Now you can see the babies. <laughs> <laughs> so cute. Oh my goodness gracious. I'm we're we're trying a new format uh for behind the scenes people. So I'm gonna pin you so that I can just watch the babies. <laughs> oh, beautiful. <laughs> Yeah, we're going to try out um, having Landon be, like, when we don't have any guests or anything, and we'll figure it out with guests. We don't know about that. But when we don't have any guests, have it be, like, um, on Zoom instead of Discord, because um, the truth is we we both have better luck with uh, connections doing the things they're supposed to do over Zoom. So yes, we're going to try that and see. And hypothetically, if things are working out, and those new things to come that we're going to be discussing today... Y'all gonna get to see my face more, which means Zoom is kinder to it than than anything else. Yes, not just a picture. You will actually have uh, Landon on the screen, hopefully. <laughs> we if they if they get lucky, that is. Right. That's right. Okay. So I guess you kind of um, mentioned it already, but uh, but what is it that we're going to be talking about today? We are going to be talking about what's to come with Enter Stage Window. Um, we're approaching our year mark. We finished up Viva, or Karen, who's the one who's been playing it, but we as the audience watching and living vicariously through her, have finished up uh, Viva Pinata, and we're moving on to Sims, which means that times are a-changing. Things are going to change, and it's time, it's time to acknowledge that and move forward. So that is mm -hmm. what we're going to be doing. Mm -hmm. Yes, 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 absolutely. Um, yeah, we're going to be changing up some things, and since it's, you know, time to change games, then it's it's time to implement some of the new things that we've been wanting to do on Interstage Window, changing format or, or something like that. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get the game going so we can hop into that. And uh, and while I'm doing that, uh, Landon Thumper wants to know about the context <laughs> of your tattoo uh, oh. that everybody is looking at right now. So, um, so if you could, I guess, explain that. I know it has nothing yeah. to do with the show, but that's okay. Uh, it's a good oh. question. <laughs> it was gonna be my favorite thing. I was gonna come in and be like, "Oh, my favorite thing for this week, I got this new tattoo." I also graduated from college, but the tattoo is the important part. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> absolutely. I mean, I definitely vibe with that. Um, the graduation, you graduating, was going to be kind of sort of my favorite thing. I guess we can do fa do favorite things then. But um, <laughs> yeah. Um, so Landon was not here last week because she was busy graduating college. Oh my god. <laughs> I have a bachelor's degree in English now, bitches. What? With a <laughs> With a certification of K through eight education, they're gonna make me a teacher. <laughs> oh my word! Who decided that? Gosh! <laughs> right? Oh my goodness! I can't believe they let me do it after mm -hmm. five years and so many struggles. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. But that's where that's where the tattoo comes in. Um, for for all of you who have like listened to the last year of my life and the amount of chaos that has been brought upon me and I have brought upon myself, might know that I take a lot on, uh, and I just do a lot of things. So um, I had this idea as my graduation tattoo to get this wonderful saying of more weight. And uh, as Thumper has said in the chat, um, but I'll tell the viewers and the listeners, this is a uh, reference to the play, The Crucible, from Arthur Miller. Because, uh, you know, English major, have to, have to uh, like put something of the American canon on my body at some point. Um, so it is, it is a reference um, basically, there's a character named Corey Giles. Uh, it also is possible that this happened in real life, too. There's 
there's a lot of like history unknown about this, but this was a documented thing that happened during the Salem witch trials here in America. And um, in the story, what happens is Corey Giles is found or is accused of witchcraft mm -hmm. um, and they he is arrested and he is asked to plead guilty or not guilty to this this uh, crimes of witchcraft. And if he pleads guilty, then he'll be hung. His wife will be implicated. He will lose all of his lands, his money, everything, um, his name, his title. All of it will go away, which basically will leave his children destitute without anything to inherit. Um, or if he pleads not guilty, he will go through the Salem witch trials, which is basically, you know, pleading guilty <laughs> um, or dying. And he will be found guilty and all the same consequences will happen. So what he does instead is not say anything. And in American law, if you don't plead guilty or non-guilty, it's kind of like the stalemate, especially back then. Um, so if you don't plead anything, uh, they can't officially try you. And so what happened is in Salem, they had the townspeople pile rocks upon him. And as rock goes one by one, uh, the judge basically asked guilty or not guilty. And Corey Giles being the badass motherfucker that he was basically says more weight because it's this idea of not making a decision. So he's stoned to death, uh, but in doing so, he saves his wife and children, their legacy. And I was like, that's a cool ass story. And I feel like the world has just been like, here, have some rocks in my life recently. And just, and in the last five years in general. And I was like, okay, I'll just keep carrying more weight. So I got a tattoo for it. <laughs> I love that. I'm so, I'm so happy for you, Landon. I'm, I'm so hey. happy that you're, that you're graduated and, um, and that part of your life is kind of like, you know, it's, it's like a new part of your life beginning, right? Yeah, it's going to be interesting. My therapist is uh, already like, it's okay if you have a mental breakdown. <laughs> it is um, okay. <laughs> because I I do a lot of things that I don't know how to relax. So it'll be an interesting lessons to learn. I have a lot more growing to do in the next era of my life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. Yep, absolutely. Um, it's it's going to be awesome, though. I'm really, really excited for you. So Great. what I'm doing right now, actually, um, is I've got I've got Landon kind of in uh, in in the camera because we're testing this out, and I'm I'm kind of trying to make this look like a sim ish version of of Landon <laughs> while she was talking, and so that's why I keep like looking over here into the camera to see how she's um kind of see how she's she, how she's looking, and uh, I've got a lot of custom content as you guys can see. So. Bring, in the, uh, bring in those dark circles, baby. That's, oh no, I was trying to do. <laughs> I was trying to do some eyeshadow because you pretty much are always wearing oh, some kind of eyeshadow, but I don't want it to look like crazy, you know. Because <laughs> in real life, you'd be changing it every day. That's true. But um, but not here. This is going to be just how you look. Okay, I suppose I won't have a new outfit for every stream. That's fine. <laughs> No, I don't think we'll be doing quite like that. Um, so, so, oh, I was gonna say the the Salem Museum for anybody who's on the East Coast is wild. It is insane. They do have an anim like an animatronic of this of Corey getting crushed. Like it is. Oh my god. Yeah, <laughs> that's crazy. That's absolutely crazy. Okay, well, before I get into my favorite thing, um, we do actually have to pick out outfits for your different times, like every day formal um bathing suit pajamas um oh no sorry that's underwear then this one's bathing suit athletic <laughs> and um and outerwear for when it's cold so i'm just gonna we're gonna look at the outfits and uh and tell me what you like so so for cold weather what do you think here there's some different outfits Ooh. here we can click on oh, any one that, that you want so here's the thing long coat long, long coat that's what i love i like that gray yeah. long pea coat well, you like this one mm, the other one the darker one the darker one? Dead, okay. Yeah, dead inside like my soul. There we go. Okay, perfect. So what about <laughs> athletic? Um, we've got, let's see, like some of these kind of things. We've got like this type of deal here. We've got like ballerina I outfits. Like I like the leg. Oh, like I'm the stuck 80s, in the like 80s. I love the stuck in the 80s vibe. Oh my okay. God. We can go for it. 
I'm going to be hot shit on the street. It's going to be awesome. Okay, we're going to go for the bright pink stuck in the 80s. Mm -hmm. Okay. I, have, and then, I am any but subtle, so. Okay, swimwear. What do we want to do? Do you want a two-piece? Do you want a one-piece? Let's do a one-piece. Okay. So we've got some one-pieces with cutouts like this. We've got some more traditional one-pieces. Um, this one's more traditional. There's more traditional one. Is there like a, a blue, blue one? one? That one. I was just this looking at that. Let's do that one. Okay. Welcome, um, Celeste Stockruff. Welcome. Happy to have you here. Oh, and Lunar. Lunar, you're Hi, Lunar. here. All right. Um, what about PJs? Do you want like full on PJs like like this? Do you want something like a little bit more of like a dress PJ? Um, or do you want like lacy? Oh, well, I mean, in this game, the game is about getting you laid. So I feel like yes. lacy needs to be what we're going for. Okay, so we've got lacy blue, we've got a lacy red, pink, and a purple, and then we've got like a bright pink and a yellow ones, flower ones. We gotta go with that, we gotta go with that purple one. The purple one? This one? Very aesthetic. Okay, beautiful. <laughs> All right, what about your underpants? Um, What kind of, like they've got, they've got some plain ones, right? Some of these down here, or they've got like fancy racy underpants. Again, getting laid, gotta do those okay. fancy underpants and black there's nothing there's nothing that more classic than that <laughs> all right perfect <laughs> all right and formal wear oh we've got god, lots of different I dresses like here a school teacher in that outfit my god that's <laughs> terrible for formal but i do look like someone's principal <laughs> you do <laughs> all right what kind of thing do you want for formal there's lots of choices here there is lots of choices hmm uh I feel, is there anything ball gownish? Just because I do like to make a yeah. stick. Some of these look ball gownish. Mm. Like these three right here. Those three. See if there's any like others. Oh, there's tons of these ones. You want like a mermaid ball gown? like wedding dresses. I love this. <laughs> yeah. That's what these are definitely wedding dresses. Just casually showing up at a, as, at a wedding dress. I love it. <laughs> okay. The, the sin that can't commit because she has, <laughs> baby, she has to have as many baby daddies as possible, but constantly shows up to all things formal in a wedding dress. Okay, so do you uh, want one of these guys with the, the big train, like, or the big skirt, I mean, or do you I, want, like, the mermaid skirt? I like the big skirt because, okay. yes, but I refuse to do the red because the red is sending the wrong vibe. So I like that purple. This one? Or the green. Yeah, the purple or the green. Okay, got it. And then lastly, your everyday. This is what we're going to see you in the most. There's wow! tons of choices here. Wow. wow. Oh, Lunar thinks your um your wedding dress formal is wow. <laughs> <laughs> Red carpety. Also, MILF principal, please. The aesthetic that I want. <laughs> okay. What about, uh, this is kind of milfy, this cherry dress. Kind of milfy. Hold on. Oh, what's that green two-piece suit that one that's, oh, that's the one you my, had on before well that's right mm, mm -hmm. yep <laughs> so when for the everyday outfit it kind of like throws everything in here so we've got everything that we looked at already plus more basically got you got you got you well i definitely hate pants so we gotta keep to that skirt okay <laughs> we've got, like, some... oh thank you for the, the um the biddies for the howl lunar appreciate it Okay, so we've got we've got some girl next door things here. That's very teacher vibes. That is, uh, yes, but I hate the color yellow. Sorry. I oh, mean, sorry, sorry. We've one. got blue or pink too. Oh, give me that. Give me the blue or let's do pink because your aesthetic is pink and I do love a good pink. Okay. And that she so, looks you know, young and innocent and ready to have as many babies as possible. That's right. That's the whole goal. <laughs> okay. So, um, all right, Landon, what's your sign? Tell everybody. I'm a Sagittarius. Did you know okay. that? You yeah, I knew that. From, <laughs> running away from commitment, taking on too much, just a pleasant attitude, but also a fiery personality altogether. Mm -hmm. That fits. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, me. <laughs> welcome, Katie and Erica. Y'all have not really missed anything, anything yet. We've not really talked about the updates. We've really just gone into the game and had a big old congratulations for Landon for graduating last weekend. Yay! And talked yep. about my tattoo because it's awesome. Mm -hmm. 
And then we're getting her sim created um, before we kind of get into more stuff. All right, so you're gonna be a Sagittarius, which means you're pretty sloppy. You're a little oh. bit shy, but you're very active and playful. And you're kind of in between on the grouch grouchy versus nice scale. All of that fits, except <laughs> I am a neat freak. That's not true at all. That is... <laughs> <laughs> as I'm uh, by books that are not on my bookshelf right now. I'm such a mean <laughs> freak. No, that's perfect. I love it. Okay. So since this is a legacy, the easiest aspiration to give you is family, which is going to mean you're going to roll lots of wants for having babies. Lots but if, you, if you'd if you like to do um, romance or fortune instead, I'm happy to choose those. Those are fine too. But I'm not going to choose pleasure or popularity or knowledge because those are really um, annoying to start out start a legacy with. We'll we'll do Sims with those aspirations later. Listen, so what do you want? Do you want family, romance, or fortune? Listen, I have wanted to be a mom since I was like eight years old. So give me that family. Got it. Okay. Well, this this version of Landon is definitely going to want to be a mom very quickly. <laughs> All right. The other oh another thing that I wanted to ask you um, is what do you want your last name to be? This is the last name of the legacy that the whole everybody's going to keep. Do we want it to be like ESW? Or... Yeah, we can do that. Yeah, let's do ESW. Okay. Isau, Isu, Isu. Who knows how to pronounce it? It's just ESW. Well, we can just do this <laughs> Esu, so it like looks like a real name, but we know it's ESW. <laughs> Oh, thank you so much for the follow. Um, me, you, um, we're going to explain how we're doing the legacy in just a minute, Erica. Don't worry. As soon as we make the sim and actually get into it, and I got to do my favorite thing, and then I'm going to explain a little bit about the actual legacy challenge before we get into the channel updates. All right. So then the other thing we have to choose for you is turn ons and turn offs. So this is going to affect who you might get paired with, because the way that I like to play sims is I'll have your sim kind of like look around and see who she's attracted to. Um, and males that she's attracted to, that's who I'm going to try to like get her going with so that she can, you know, get married and have billions of babies and all that stuff, which is what we want for a legacy. Yeah. So what kind of sim do you want her attracted to? There's, they've got all kinds of different traits here. Um, they've got different hair colors you can choose. Oh my God. Uh, you can choose like if they're like what kind of clothes they're wearing and just all kinds of things. You can choose even if you want somebody that, that smells, um, bad or, or wears cologne. Listen, the joke is that my type has always been tall blonde with daddy issues. So I feel like blonde needs to okay. be there. We definitely <laughs> got to go with blonde then. So tall blonde with daddy issues. I also so feel then, like... If we're having lots of baby, that anyone who's like not into commitment, <laughs> since we have to have, I think, different parents, right? For a lot no, of No, no, we don't. No. We can get oh. you married. We can get you married to one sim and have all the babies with one sim if we want. It really just depends. The way I, the way I play is very wants based. So it just That's depends on what your sim says they they want. That was uh, that makes sense. Okay, so I had been I had been assuming that there had to be multiple different. Uh, mm -mm baby father slash others so that's fine um let's see what else what else do you think would be good so Money. um <laughs> we can there, we can say um one, right <laughs> we can say that you're attract you're turned on you're turned on by rich sims i am turned on by rich sims <clears throat> okay. we're like we're literally just looking for drink about why it's fine yeah that's okay okay <laughs> so then then turn offs so what do you want your sim to, do you want your sim to reject? Like, do you want a certain thing that they're not going to like? I'm trying to decide what would be good for that. Uh, I don't know. What do you think? What are you thinking? You have kind of an so eye on. Usually when it comes to, to the, um, to the sims where you get to choose these, I'll pick a hair color just because that's very, um, very Perfect. simple and a way to kind Light. of like make sure that it's clear that they have a preference, right? So since you like blondes, maybe we say that black hair is your turn off. You're not interested in, in darker hair colors. Perfect. Love it. Yeah. Um, and employment's a good turn off. Yeah, that's a good turn off. But I feel like that makes things easy and not, I don't know. I think this gives your sim more, more personality when you choose it based on hair colors. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So this is yes, our this exactly. is our Landon sim. <laughs> I can't comprehend a straight Landon. It doesn't compute is my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> I have done my branding correctly. Thank God. Oh, Look please. at her. She's so pretty. 
He's adorable. Ready to go out into the world and have lots of babies. That's right. Okay. Family name is Esu. All right. So while we're getting this loaded up and getting the lot started, um, I'll do my favorite thing. So, so my favorite thing this week, my, my jokey favorite thing is Landon graduated, which is my favorite thing, but also like for real, my for real favorite thing that I wanted to like talk a little bit more about is I restarted my um, Animal Crossing Island. So my favorite thing this week is Animal Crossing. So I've been playing a lot of that. Um, if you guys are playing Animal Crossing, you need to hit me up and let me know uh, so that we can play together some. Um, because it's more fun with friends. And I have discovered Treasure Islands and how those work, which you can find out more about that if you search Treasure Islands on Twitch. Uh, it's wonderful. It's uh, it's great. <laughs> <laughs> I I love this. I remember like when when quarantine first started and, and mm -hmm. Animal Crossing just came out, and like you and everybody else in the world was just so into it. And I'm like, okay, this is great. So I'm very excited to see it from the beginning restarted. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Um, okay. So you already started jumping rope. That's like showing how active you are for your sign. So um I've got a bunch of stuff on this lot already. And uh and that is because I have a whole lot of different uh mods and things that I use. So I went ahead and put those things on the lot, but I haven't put anything else, which that's that's basically what we're doing. So essentially what I'm doing here is a sort of kind of legacy challenge like I'm not taking it super seriously and um I'm setting it up so that it's like we're just trying to get to 10 generations and I'm not going to do the points or anything like that if y'all want to do points for this based on what you observe you go for it but I'm not going to bother but I do have some goals so if you do in the chat exclamation point sims 2 you will see um the document pop up that has all of my different things about how I play Sims and it explains it all to you if you want to read about it. Um, and thank you for the, the posture check, Lunar. My posture did feel really bad right there. So, um, so you can see how I play and what I'm gonna try to do. And we're just gonna try to get to 10 generations. That's like really the whole point of this, right? So that's how we're gonna play Sims. And you know, Landon apparently is uh it did not play video games as a child so this is her first sims experience <laughs> i had a very rough childhood and by that i mean I, my childhood was fine oh my god there's a cat sorry i'm just so distracted by the kitten by the show my babies. um <laughs> but that meant that i have not played video games i didn't listen to any like music that a lot of my peers listen to i certainly watched zero tv shows and movies that are like pop culture references that everyone's like oh my god back to the future home alone i'm like who are they uh, <laughs> so video games is part of that you know childhood in which i didn't get to enjoy pop culture things so yep it's just some sacrifices had to be made to be as cool as i am and unfortunately video games was one of those Yep, absolutely. Um, so, so that's that's kind of where we are. So, so that's all I'm really trying to do is get to get to the um, the ten generations, and uh, and we can only spend the money that we have. And uh, and I'm basically the way that I play is very wants based. So I'll do things based on what Landon wants to do. So I can already see she wants to meet someone new, she wants to flirt, she wants to buy a bookcase, and she wants to gain a cooking skill point. So that's what Landon wants to do. <laughs> oh, that's accurate. <laughs> yep. So, so we're going to try to be doing some of that kind of stuff. And um, and yeah, that's basically how I'm going to be playing this. So for you guys that are not familiar with legacy challenges, the whole point of a legacy challenge is basically to make the Sims a little bit more structured, a little bit more difficult. And the way that I like to play Sims really has a lot to do with um the drama of it like i love to just like see what kind of shenanigans they're gonna get up to you know so um that's really how i play and uh and and the legacy challenge really fits in with all that i love it this is so exciting mm -hmm. so i'm not a very aesthetic player you're not gonna see me doing a lot of stuff in regards to decorating i mean i will sometimes but that's just not that's not like the deal <laughs> <laughs> it's not the the big wants here. Mm -mm, mm -mm. I like to I like to watch The Sims and have them do crazy stuff. Not necessarily worry about decorating. But I'm gonna buy her a couple of things that she's going to need 
to uh, live, <laughs> you know, before she runs out of money. And we're going to have to get her a job pretty quickly, too. So we need to find her a job. We need to find her a man. <laughs> and so the legacies that I've watched have only really been like, have been more strict to the rules. So is having like a job in the home or as like a writer or something like that a possibility or is that or is that not a, a thing in Sims 2? No, she can do that. She can make money that way. Um, okay. But it's not it's not like a job. She's not going to get perks in the way that you would get gotcha. or having a real job like you do in later Sims games. But um, but we'll see what jobs the paper has today. Yeah. And uh, and you can pick what job you want. And we can always change your job later. Oh, yeah. Chaos. Okay. Love it. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And um, OK, so she wants to get a cooking skill point and she wants to get a bookcase. So we definitely want to buy her an oven and um, we'll I love, decorate I love, all this stuff later. I love this one bed, one oven, one bookcase. <laughs> <laughs> Great for college. Love it. Yes, absolutely. OK, we're going to get you all the cheapest stuff because that's how we do in a legacy. <laughs> that's the way to do it. OK. So, oh, she needs a chair, too, so that she can sit down. That would be good to have. <laughs> the bed is just too much. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, I, I like to have, I like to get them as much as I can, right? So, like, I have a goal of getting all of the career awards. Like, I want to, at least at some point to get a sim to be, like, a werewolf and a plant sim and things like that, you know? So like I want I want to do like all of that stuff all of those things and I am so sorry chat that I feel like I've been neglecting you guys um this stream so far but like chat's been actually moving so much faster than I expected <laughs> y'all are like so here for the Sims and I freaking love that they I've been keep keeping up it's just been a little bit of uh of banter about which Sims is better oh Sims two is the best there um I will take no comment. Sorry, that's just how it is. <laughs> that was wrong. All right. So she's going to work on gaining that cooking skill point. She wants to obtain a pet. Okay, so the welcome wagon should be by soon. So while we're kind of, she's going to let her study her cooking and um, wait for the welcome wagon. I guess we can do, I'm going to do, change some things with my, with my mod, with my um, mod here. Love it. This is for this is for um, random romantic. Uh, they'll do like aut autonomous romantic stuff. You won't have to tell them, which is really nice. Which is you know because it gets exhausting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's like uh, oh let's... god, stop flirting <laughs> or keep flirting. Um, do we want to talk about the new uh, point redeems? The new oh, what? The new point redeems. Oh, yes. Okay. So instead of naming a pinata, you can name um, a sim now. We changed that. Uh, we are also going to have a channel point redeem for killing sims, which I didn't turn on this time because Landon is our only sim. <laughs> so <laughs> once, <laughs> once we actually have more sims in the house, you know, and the choices, um, the choices aren't like, you know, Killing Landon or killing Landon's child because I don't want to kill um, child sims. It causes all kinds of weird stuff if a child sim dies if you're not super careful. So, um, have, so there's it, it causes all sorts of weird stuff if a child dies in real life. So <laughs> probably a good thing. You know what? You know what? <laughs> I'm so, making sense. <laughs> <laughs> what it corrupts? It corrupt. It can corrupt the neighborhood if you're not careful. I mean, not always, but if you're not careful. So, like, there's certain things I'm not gonna do. But it's going to be a very expensive channel point redeem, and you can do it once per stream. And if you do it, then I have to try my best to kill a sim during that stream. So that's how that one's going to work. But we would love to have additional ideas for Sims 2 channel point redeems of things that y'all want to see. So um, please use the channel point redeem that's there of suggesting them, because that way they'll go into a queue that um, that I can see. And, uh, and use that so that... Uh, that I, I know kind of what you guys would want, because this game is, of course, has a lot more features than Viva Pinata. We can do a lot more than just naming and killing, right? There's there's way more to Sims than that, so there's all kinds of different things that we could potentially do. It's just that, you know, what would be fun for you guys, right? 
So that's what that's what I want to know. And uh, already thinking of names. Oh, that's wonderful, Brie. Um, so I want y'all to be thinking of names because that's going to work like a queue as well. So when you put in the names of, for the channel point redeem, let me know the name that you want, the the gender, right, that you want, and also if this is going to be a sim or if this is going to be a pet, because we can do names for anything that we birth or adopt, right? So um, so let me know all those things, and I'll just kind of work through it like a queue, right? So if there's a name in the queue, then that's what I will be using. If there's no names in the queue, then me and Landon will pick one, right, for, for anything that we need to. Well, ha, ha, ha. Don't, don't worry, guys. I will name it after random things like oven. <laughs> <laughs> oven? Her first love is to cook. She wants to learn how to cook, so her first baby should be something like that. <laughs> oh, my gosh, Landon. No. <laughs> I am chaos incarnate. I see that. <laughs> No, I also just love the aesthetic of her sitting in a chair reading while all of her worldly possessions are strewn on the grass around <laughs> this tiny little building. <laughs> yep. Okay, so she wants to find a job. So I'm going to have her go and, and see. You can see she's messy because she just puts her books back on the ground. She doesn't put them back on the bookcase. A woman like truly after my own heart. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to see what jobs are available today in the paper and we're going to pick one. So there should be three potential jobs available and we'll just we'll we'll let uh, Landon pick whatever she wants to have for um, for her first job. All right, so she can go into the oceanography career track. The, the first level of that is called Fish Chummer. Um, the other option is athletic career track and the first level of that's team mascot. Um, or she can go into the military career track as a recruit. So which do you want? Do you want oceanographer, military, or athletic for your I, land and sim? I love oceanography. So okay. let's let's make her I know she's a very active person, so maybe athletics would be good, but I wanna I wanna chum some fish. <laughs> <laughs> Lunar likes oceanography too. And we're, like look at we're right next to the ocean. Yeah. I, very ocean central. Let's do it. Yes. I put the I put the background because this is a mod. I put the background as ocean and the sky is as pink because I feel like that was very, you know, both me and you um, yes. for this. So, yeah, that was very purposeful. Oh, thank you for the Yay! applause, Jane. He has a job. My love, you're here. Mm hmm. So we're just going to kind of wait for the welcome wagon to to get here at this point. Will you also, be adding I love other? How easy it is for Sims to get jobs. Just be like, <laughs> this is what I want to do, and then you're like, you're hired. <laughs> yeah, you, there's mods I think to make it harder, but um, oh, we're not going to do all that. <laughs> in our life. Um, will you be adding other families to the neighborhood? So we will be if like there's a lot of kids in a generation, moving some of them out of the house. Um, but I didn't have like specific plans to add other families to the neighborhood. We've just got like townies and um and stuff like that so i would i thought the welcome wagon would be would be townies with the way i have it set up with no other families but it's possible that the welcome wagon won't even come i'm not exactly sure oh but here's somebody let's see oh no here it is there there is the welcome wagon so let's uh greet greet everybody stop writing in your diary let's say hi to your friends okay greet so everyone. i have to Yes, you do. Because you want to. You want to meet someone new. Oh, I know. It just is the, you know. She's very shy in this land. That like, That's um... right. Okay, so let's see. Let's see if she can. Where is the option? Let's see what she's interested in. Oh, that's good. She likes Malcolm Land Grab. Let's see if she is interested in Gibbert. No, absolutely not. Probably because he's a brunette. Yeah, he's a brunette. He's that blonde. He's neutral on Wanda Tinker. Okay, so she's definitely interested in Malcolm, which is good because he's he's rich and blonde. So that's uh, that's perfect for you and her for the legacy. <laughs> Listen, she just wants to be a stay-at-home milk. That's what she wants. Oceanographer milk, I should say. Perfect. I love it. 
Bree, Bree's reaction. Wait, why doesn't she have a house with walls? I just turned on the video on. <laughs> because I haven't built those yet. <laughs> she only has a thousand dollars to her name. She hasn't married her rich blonde husband yet, killed him off and inherited all his money. So we gotta wait. We gotta wait until she can afford oh. a real house. Perfect. She did that all on her own, flirted with Malcolm. So that's wonderful. Oh, we okay, love so it. she wants love to fall in love, so we're going to lock that in for her. All right, so we're going to kind of get Landon started here. Looks like she's already hitting off with Malcolm. This is wonderful. Um, maybe he will work out, and we will um, we'll marry Rich, and then this lawn living situation will be solved. <laughs> All right, so while we're kind of getting into the gameplay, I feel like the game sound is really loud compared to Landon. Do y'all feel like that? Um, does Landon sound quiet compared to the game? I think I might need to turn this stuff down. She so does, Brie. She needs a sugar daddy. Exactly. She needs somebody to father her, her all of her babies. <laughs> yeah. The game sounds fine. Okay, it's just for me then. All right. So, okay. So while I'm kind of playing Landon Sim here and getting her, getting to know Malcolm a little bit, um, Landon, if you can pick any of the any of the updates that you want, but let's actually get into some of the changes that we're making for Interstage Window. Yeah. Let's do that. Um, I think that we should probably just start at the beginning. Okay. And talk about that uh, we're going to be changing the show a little bit and the content of the show as well as like, not necessarily when or how long it runs, but the format of what our episodes look like. Um, we've been doing this for a year and it's been great. We love it. Uh, it's fun. It's entertaining. I love the audience that we've built. I love the connection that I've been able to have with you. Uh, but uh, RP has uh, is it's hard to talk about weekly for two hours every week. After eight. <laughs> <laughs> and for Karen, she's been doing it much longer than I have. Um, and we still love it. And it's it's obviously still a very important part of our lives. So that's not necessarily changing. Um, but we want to start we want to continue to make sure that we're feeling passionate about this uh, and not just doing it because we have to, but doing it because we enjoy it. And we figured a way to do that is to change things up a little bit. Yep. So we are still going to be doing um, about every other week episodes like this, where it's us yeah. chatting with like a game going, Sims 2 being the game. So every other week about, oh, perfect. You have a crush on him. Wonderful. Um, <laughs> so much so like, we are, so like Landon <laughs> to have a crush on everything. Instantly. First day. Oh, she just got <gasps> hit in the face with a, and she liked it. <laughs> yeah, well, she's very, she's playful enough, I guess. She thought that was cool. So, okay, Wanda, I guess that's how you make friends. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, so, yeah, we're going to be, we're still going to be doing I, what I would call, like, our traditional episodes, right, every other week or, um, or so. You know, that's kind of about, these are all like kind of estimates. But um, we're not going to be doing them every single week. And, and a big reason is, for me anyway... I feel like I've kind of said everything I have to say about role playing. <laughs> if you watch every week, then you know that like my points boil down to a few things. You can't control other people. You can only control yourself and like freaking communicate, use your words. You know, almost every piece of advice can kind of be summed up in those two points. And um, and at some point, uh, I'm, I'm bored of talking about it, right? So it's not that those episodes are going away. It's just that we're significantly reducing them. And sometimes on our traditional episodes, the topic isn't necessarily going to be role play specific. It might be more fandom related. It might have to do more with like fanfic. Um, it might have to do with, you know, um, some other like nerdy topic, you know, anything that kind of fits into, I guess, what you could call girl nerd stuff. <laughs> I think it's fair game, you know, um, we're definitely so... not gonna take a hard left turn and start talking about motorcycles. Like, no, <laughs> no, never mind. Um, no, no, we're not. We're gonna, we're still us. We still love uh, this community. We still love fandom nerd things. I just think that there is more that we can talk about that has informed our RPing um, beyond just things to do directly with RP. 
Yes. Exactly. Uh, and so that's that's gonna change a little bit. And the way we're gonna change it, obviously, like Karen said, is that we're still gonna have the topics, the traditional style, the Karen playing Sims and us talking over it about a certain topic uh, every other week. But we're also going to be diving into a type of media every month. We want to have an episode once a month that is, sorry, I'm just watching her get plowed in the face for the third time this story. At least she started it this time. She started and, the pillow fight. I mean, it's so nice to hear that she likes it, but it's hysterical. Anyway, <laughs> um, no, and, and uh, dice. I mean, you and I both, we really like the analytical side of things. We really like to dissect things and explore things. Um, our reading and our consumption of media has played as big a part into how we RP and how we write um, because part of writing is consuming. Uh, so we want to be able to explore those things that are either new to us or that we love. Um, and that goes from anything from movies to TV shows to books and book yep. series. Uh, and having in-depth conversation about those things. Yep, so once a month we'll have one of those type of episodes. And um, the first one that we want to do, I want to address a couple things with this. The first one that we want to do is actually get started on the Harry Potter book series. Now, a couple things with that. One, a main reason why we want to do it is because we're both super familiar with it, and it has a lot to do with why we're friends. Like, I don't think that Landon and I would have gotten close as we are without that Harry Potter role play that, um, that we were in together and that we shipped our characters together. And um, and that was really huge bonding for us. Now, we, we met in a Once Upon a Time role play, to be clear. We didn't meet in a Harry Potter role play, but in the Harry Potter role play is where we really, truly became friends. So it's very near and dear to, to my heart and to our friendship. Um, now, that being said, uh, we got to address the turf-shaped elephant in the room. Um, we do not support JK Rowling or anything that she's been doing the past, I don't know, several to a couple okay. of years. <laughs> However long it's been since she decided to be like the anti-trans Twitter warrior, um, ridiculous, but, uh, <laughs> it's ridiculous. Forever. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, and so, you know, we're going to talk about this, but... We definitely don't support J.K. Rowling or anything that she has done as of recent. And um, so if you're coming to those expecting to not end up hearing a lot of complaining and uncomfortable things, then, well, you're in the wrong place. We have had plenty of other streams that were uncomfortable, too, so this should not be new for you guys. Um, there shouldn't be any kind of any surprises here. We've had plenty of streams where we talked about uncomfortable topics. And the Harry Potter ones will uh, surely be that too, because I have not read the books or watched the movies or anything like that since the whole like Earth thing with her on Twitter. So I know that they're going to feel different to me reading them and consuming Harry Potter stuff since then, because I have a lot of feelings about it. So that's that's what that is and i don't want anyone to get like the wrong idea about us covering those topics yeah um I think the, actually, oh go ahead sorry i was gonna say i think it is actually is a really interesting perspective to come from it and i think we're going to talk more in depth of it mm -hmm. that there has been a transition as far as like going from when we started this you you basically said there is no naming there is no even talking about harry potter yeah i don't want to mention it. i was so angry i was so angry i didn't yeah. even want to hear anything about it to to wanting to discuss it because bringing up and having discussion of that problematic and really terrible parts of of what popular media sometimes involves mm -hmm. i think is an important conversation to have Mm -hmm. And we will continue to talk about that, but it is an interesting transformation that I hope that the viewers understand and as well as well want to follow with us. Bree's here for it, so that's wonderful. <laughs> well, we, we, we knew that one. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> um, and then the other thing with this that I that I want to to make sure that I address is, unfortunately, on Twitch, it's not like on YouTube where you can just turn monetization on and off and things like that. So 
I, I can't set it so that uh, that monetization works differently on those streams or anything like that. Now, fortunately or unfortunately, I don't I don't know which. <laughs> fortunately or unfortunately, um, there is uh, I, I don't make enough off of any one stream or any one video where it should matter. But if it matters to you, just know that um, I tried and I can't do anything about that. Unfortunately, um, it is what it is. So there's not there's not a situation where I can say like, well, I'm just going to turn off monetization for this stream and I'll turn it back on next stream or things like that. It's like once it's on, it's on for forever and ever. So that's what that's about. Yeah. And I so apologize that, for that. But that's what it is. But I, I also hope that that we are listened to when and trusted that when we talk about this, we will continually bring up the um, marginalized voices that J.K. Rowling is trying to silence. Mm -hmm. Like we obviously, we are not, either of us are part of the um, transgender identity, but um, it is important that we will vocalize that and we will talk about that and we're not gonna just silence it. And if anyone like, and we'll gladly also listen to people who are, and would yeah. love to have conversations about that as well. Absolutely. Um, whether it be um, on or off stream to help us understand. Yep. And if you want to know more about how I feel about gender and the journeys that I have had with gender, we have a whole interstage window episode on yeah. that. And you're welcome to go find it in the VODs um, where we talk all about uh, all about gender and um, and how that relates to role play and how I personally relate to it as well. So, yeah. And just and the labels behind it. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, I think that that's that is something exciting. I am looking forward to it. We've been talking about changing up and, and having our, and having enter stage window do something about exploring different media topics for a, for a little while, for a couple of months now. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm really excited for it. Cause I think it, it activates both, both parts of our brains that like are parts of both of our brains that make us really happy yeah. <laughs> and, being able to talk about it. and not just like in a Harry Potter, for those of you who it's been a while since I've talked about it on stream, but for those of you who, who may or may not know, I used to have a Harry Potter podcast. Um, like I am, I love it. I love discussing this. So it's not just Harry Potter that we're looking forward to. We're also looking into TV shows, um, books, movies, movies and TV shows more. So just because it takes, it takes people a long time to read books. books <laughs> it takes me a long more. time to read books. I'm a very <laughs> slow reader. <laughs> didn't, didn't want to call you out, but also me too. I call myself <laughs> out. <laughs> um, but also sitting there and, and being like, okay, what kind of, what kind of nerd movies? Like, uh, here's the thing. I've never watched like the matrix before. And I think that would be an interesting thing to dissect. Oh man, um, we're definitely doing the matrix. I can't believe, I can't believe I just learned this is another thing you've never seen. Well, I, I was like in middle school or elementary school. I don't remember when that movie came out, blew my tiny little mind. Like, I mean, movie, what? Movie, TV show or song. I haven't watched it, seen it or heard it. That is the rules of being my friend. You just got to understand that I I am so pop culture inept. I don't even know. So Matrix, I know, is a huge is a huge nerd uh, must see. So being able to like dissect that and see what it how it stands up and and all that could be interesting. Like we're we're also looking at other things, and I'm sure we'll come to a point in time where we'll also be like suggestions or also listen to audience wants. But we're not there yet. But that is that is in the foreground. That is things that would be interesting to do and we want to do gosh i see um some good comments from brie erica jane katie i'm glad y'all are excited as excited as we are um because at, at this point like it's it's ch -ch -ch changes you know time for time for changes so um i'm really excited you know i i want to continue to to grow as an entertainer and as a streamer and things like that and uh and this is a step in that direction yeah. Um, oh. Before we get into any more interstage window stuff, because I think this ties into uh, what we've been talking about so far, I want to also announce a change to spare room. I have let my patrons know in the in the patron Discord channel, but I want to let everybody know as well. Um, and I feel like you know people that really care about this sort of stuff, they probably are watching the stream or watching the vods or that sort of thing. But a big reason we're changing a lot of interstage window stuff is because. I, um, because I've said most of what I want to say about role play. So for the foreseeable future, Spare Room is also going to be changing. It's going to be every other week instead of every week. 
So, excuse me. Um, so what that means is that um, basically the show format is not changing at all, but um, I'm just not going to be, I'm not going to be putting as much time into it because, I, well, I need the time now to be uh, reading and watching all these things that we're going to be discussing, right? And uh, and taking time to think about them and what I want to say about them. So that frees up some of that time as well. And and plus, again, like, because I've said so much about roleplay, like, Square Room is about to reach its third anniversary this fall. Third anniversary. It's, like, ridiculous how long that show has been going. So at some point, it's kind of like, well, what else is there to say? Almost everything I want to say, I can point to an old video at this point, you know? So that's where that show is, and that's what's going to change with it. Um, I might figure out something else once I run out of episode ideas, but right now I still have a decent number of episode ideas. So um, it's going to basically just change to every other week. And I'll let y'all know once I fully, fully run out of ideas. I hope that makes sense. Landon, do you think I explained explain that well, what that means? No, okay. you did. I think it was, I think it was good. Okay, sweet. Okay, so we can back, go back to talking about interstage window stuff then. I just want to make that small aside because I feel like it's related. It's the media yeah, discussion no, stuff, like it's all related. It definitely is. Um, and, and like, I think, I think like before we tap into interstage window, just because there is so much change going on and we're talking about so much change, the world has changed in the last 18 months um, and will continue to change uh, as we come out of this global pandemic um, that isn't anywhere close to ending, even though it feels like it is. Uh, yeah, at least here in the States. <laughs> it's like, okay, things are ending, but not really. Not um, really. <laughs> <laughs> they just are, we're just pretending they are. Um, it, it's the world, like these changes, I think, are coming at a good time. Um, because we we're changing them sooner rather than later. We're, we're recognizing, hey, we've changed in the last bit of time. We want to start exploring new things and doing new things. And that's good. Uh, so I just want to make sure that those people out here who are like, oh my God, everything's changing. Uh, spare room is, is going down and ESW isn't going to be the same thing it was. It's going to be very similar. It's just that we're changing the content because we want to be happy. Mm -hmm. We just <laughs> want to talk about different stuff, you know? Yeah, and trust me, I'm going to be just as much as a weird, sarcastic loser nerd uh, about Harry Potter and Sims and Matrix and, uh, and Hunger Games or whatever else we're going to dissect uh, as I would be with talking about RP. It's going to be mm -hmm. the same sarcastic <laughs> wit. <laughs> I mean, because if, if you think about it, like we met in um, in fandom role play. So, yeah. you know, considering that's our that's our roots, then media is very, very important. OK, Landon, I have an ultimate question for you. Do you okay. sleep in your underwear or in pajamas? Oh, my God. Uh, underwear. OK, it's time for you to go to bed. It's almost two in the morning. You've had a very busy day meeting um, who's hopefully going to be the love of your life. You want to be best friends with him and you want to fall in love. I take that to mean it's, you know, we're going to, we're going to call, we're going to call him. Oh no, your carpool arrives in about an hour. Well, let's get some sleep before that carpool <laughs> arrives. You're going to die first day on the job. I didn't realize this job started so early in the morning. Yeah, you start at 4 a.m. Holy crap. You oh. picked an early bird job. We're going to let I you sleep just a little longer because the car is not going to leave until 4 a.m. I'm just going to let you sleep in a little bit, make them wait in the in the driveway as they watch you sleep because you have no walls. <laughs> already making terrible connections with my coworkers, already pissing off the carpool person. Uh, <laughs> That's right. <laughs> very on point and accurate. Oh my god, the kids. It's okay because you're going to marry Malcolm and he has lots of money, I'm pretty sure. As long as that's happening, life is good. <laughs> <laughs> that's the thing. We need a oh, look at me in my wetsuit. Yep. Uh, we need a sugar daddy. That's that's, that's right. That's what we need. <laughs> it's okay. Malcolm's going to do it for us and then we'll get out of this lawn living. Listen, I am a feminist enough to understand that there are some women who just want sugar daddies and that's okay. That's right. <laughs> That's what and feminism Landon, is. Everyone gets to make their own choices in life. And it happens to be one of them. And <laughs> in other words, mm -hmm. if you'd like to send money to my Venmo. Just kidding. Um <laughs> oh, it's fall now. 
Okay, it's fall now, so I'm gonna make some adjustments. Um, I like to have. <laughs> we're gonna. Are we gonna have a wall? Is that the adjustments? No, we're but I'm gonna set season length to four days. I was waiting for fall to start to do that because if I did that during the summer, it would restart summer, and I wanted that last that first day to be in summer because um the relationship will go up more. Um, oh, okay. Um, it's just another day on the job when Landon suddenly realized that she doesn't have any more fish to chum. The current amount of chum will probably feed the animals for half a day. And Landon was never given instructions on what to do if she ran out of fish. Should Landon go out and buy more fish to chum or use artificial fish food instead? What do you want to do? Ask buy some fish? Curious. That's what I would like to do. This is our only choices. Buy fish or artificial food. God damn it. Um, we have to choose quick or it's going to go away. Artificial food! Okay. Whoa. Okay. You figured that this situation is exactly what artificial fish food is for. She begins chumming the artificial food until it looks pretty much like the natural fish chum. The small variety in their diet drives the performing animals to jump even higher than normal the rest of the day, and Landon gets a small bonus of $200 as a result. Um, Hell yeah. You got 200 simoleons. Bonus. There's a happy dance happening. <laughs> <laughs> So the way that those chance cards work for those that aren't familiar with Sims 2 is when they pop up, there's no matter which one you pick, which choice you pick, there's a good or a bad outcome. And depending on, on exactly how it's programmed, the good outcome is more likely and sometimes the bad outcome is more likely. It's all variable, right? So there's not like there's a bad choice and a good choice. Cho choosing either of them, you can have a bad or a good choice come about. Okay, you're going to go back to sleep because holy crap. Um, you did not sleep well last night. Because you made me go to bed at 2 o'clock. <laughs> well, you know what? I didn't realize your job started at 4 in the morning, or I would have made different choices. <laughs> you were a bad um, god. That's what Sorry. We're... Fine, <laughs> yes, I yes yeah. Erica, I have, I have all the expansions. I have everything. <laughs> Sorry. Just the chat is so good right now. <laughs> I am loving it. <laughs> it landed walls 20k 2021. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Hashtag get many get get walls. <laughs> <sighs> okay. You're you're doing good now. Your sleep is good. Okay. Um you're kind of hungry though, so we're going to make some food. Oh my god, want to caught more fireflies. Go away. We're going to make some more food and then we're going to probably call Malcolm. So, let's have some spaghetti. I'm so glad that he has fallen in, that he might fall in love with this. We all have crushes on each other. Balls. So <laughs> we all have crushes on each other so it could work out. So yeah, basically new new formats for Interstage W just to kind of summarize what we've talked about so far is once a month we're going to be doing media discussions and about every other week-ish we're going to be doing um our our regular episodes, right? Of course, someone will be calling her while she's cooking. <laughs> um, I also, and then you're like, but, but Landon and Karen, there are four weeks in a month, and you've only talked about three shows. Three weeks worth uh, of shows. What about the fourth week? What about the fourth week? <laughs> and that's when I get to tell you, wonderful audience, that um, we have loved having community days so much and playing games with one another and um, just in general, like being able to have to just have more of a relaxed version of the show, um, especially keeping in mind that our media dives are going to be a lot more intense than necessarily the weekly uh, shows that we've been doing recently but even then that still involves prep so being able to have a show once a month ish without as much prep needed and just to have a little fun to connect to each other and our communities is just what we wanted mm -hmm. oh he's so, here oh, oh there's no need to call him he's here he already knows and i'm he, he just showed her. up he's walking yeah baby and she's in her underwear. This is fabulous. She's in her oh, look at that! I love a woman who takes charge. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and he does one right back. 
So uh, yes, we're gonna be having a lot more community days. We're gonna yeah. I mean, we've been doing them once every three or four months, but we're gonna be doing them way, way more. Now I don't necessarily know that we're gonna have a community day every single month because I know you guys are busy adults like we are, and that might be pushing it a little bit. So some of these community days might really be just like me and Landon playing a game together because Landon's not a gamer and she's just not experienced a lot of games. So Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm like I'm just saying, I don't know if I even have the stuff to play it, but Mario Kart, guys. Mario Kart. Um, oh, I would love to, but I don't have a way to stream the Switch. God damn it. We gotta pick PC games. We gotta pick PC All games. Right. Yeah, but so no, we'll have to figure I, that out. I think just having a relaxed stream, whether it be a community day with everybody, or a community day of watching Karen kick my ass in a video game because I don't play video games, um, would be a great way to, to just bond as a community. Yes. Um, and so really looking at doing that as one of the weeks um as part of our monthly like sort of schedule is what we're really really looking forward to and i think it's going to be a lot of fun but namely we also want to make sure that we have those days where we can play among us or other games too i know that there's specifically one game that karen really wants to play yes i really want to start working in um community days for stardew valley because you can do that multiplayer so i would love to start a multiplayer farm with you guys and um and we all kind of play that together and build up the farm together i think that would be really really fun and it has cross play between pc and mac so I, and i know landon has a mac so she'll be able to play that with us ah yes he loves her now she just needs to love him back um all <laughs> he I'm fell saying, in love first <laughs> I, i'm so sad like i'm so sorry to interrupt you but all i need to say is that this woman it is so fucking confident that she is standing at the side of her road of the side of the road with all of her personal vlogging spread out over the lawn in front of a man in her underwear declaring her love bloody and proposing oh, She's proposing in her underwear. <laughs> After knowing this man for 24 hours, I'm going to tell you that this is the best love story that I've ever been involved with. Um, Absolutely. <laughs> and I'm so glad. <laughs> also, the kittens are wrestling, and that's a lot right now. There's so many happy feelings happening. <laughs> they know. They know it's time. They okay, do we're be gonna, going. They're gonna, we're going to get you the wedding arches and so that you can have... A nice little wedding. There we wow. go. Let's yeah. do, do the red one. So back to back to what we were saying as far as community days. Among Us, I love kicking all of your asses in Among Us when the game lets me actually be the villain. Um, <laughs> but also Stardew Valley, that's exciting. I know at one point we played Jackbox. Maybe doing mm -hmm. Jackbox over Zoom will be a little bit easier than doing Jackbox over Discord. Um, I love that they're pillow fighting. It's just so cute. That seems to be her go-to when her fun is a little low, is to pillow fight with um, Malcolm. So that's wonderful. Just to beat someone else's ass with a That's pillow. right. <laughs> <laughs> She's not violent or anything, though. <laughs> no, she's just very active. Um, those sounds were so appropriate for what had just happened, uh, Jane and Bree. That's wonderful. <laughs> I love that she's still in her underwear. <laughs> and she's well, she's about now. to get dressed. No, I know. She's showering now, but is she she's going to at bed? A, oh, they're already at that level. That's so sweet. <laughs> yeah, because they love each other. But there, she's got to get she's got to get clean for her wedding. That's oh, about that's to happen. Right. Her long wedding. She's supposed to work at 4 a.m. at the day yeah. after married okay just good to know yeah let's make sure if she's yeah she's working tomorrow perfect we do need to move her into a house uh prior to it turning winter where she's gonna freeze to death without don't walls. worry as soon as we marry malcolm we're gonna get a whole bunch of money and then we're gonna actually build her a house so don't worry build him off what <laughs> Yes, so um, so basically, we're going to be having more community days. So if there are other games that you would be you guys would be interested in, um, Among Us is definitely in the rotation. Stardew Valley is definitely in the rotation. Um, Jackbox will probably be in the rotation. But if there's other things that you guys are interested in, you know, let us know so that we can work those in. 
and we're probably going to make them way more casual you know because we've got that media once a month episode that we're going to be doing these community days they're probably just going to be playing the game it's probably not going to be a topic or anything like that unless we choose to do that for like a christmas special or something uh, you know but they're going to be way more casual community days topic bring your best smack talk <laughs> mm -hmm. uh is he gonna stand her off at the altar where is he did he leave the lot oh my god he's gonna stand her up at the altar oh no there he oh, is there he's he is across the lot. <laughs> he's like this has turned so much oh, no, no, oh. they're getting married they're getting they're married. getting married oh look at him he looks so good at a tux mm -hmm. Ooh. gotta love it oh my god she's gonna start crying mm so emotional i've never been invested <laughs> in a video game before um, <laughs> they're gonna make they're gonna make beautiful blonde babies oh gee <laughs> yeah so cute i love it oh my god he's gonna get married i'm just messing over this no i think it's gonna be great community days um new formats new new topics overall some really great changes happening absolutely um, okay she's got money now hell yeah thank god does he have a house or are we gonna have to build a house no we're building a house because the way that the that the um the challenge works is you stay on this lot this this uh, massive lot and you slowly build up um okay so we are gonna actually why don't you clean this up now are you let's, let's look at him like, let's, oh, let's, he's not very neat either. He's super oh, sloppy too. Perfect. Like, listen, here's the thing. Number one reason to get divorced, money. Second number one, second number one reason to get second divorced. Second number one, y'all. <laughs> is you have a sloppy person and a neat freak together. Never works out. So you got to be really sloppy or just overall just really neat. <laughs> okay, we got to clean this. We gotta... so clean this shit up so we can build a house did i marry a sagittarius man is that what just happened did you sorry did you marry what a sagittarius man is that what just no you happened? married a gemini oh that's uh that tracks yeah <laughs> you're a sagittarius and you married a gemini it's katie it's very on point me just <laughs> jump roping it happens all the time in real life <laughs> yeah duh don't y'all just randomly pull out your jump rope and go to town yeah, don't you just like it's in your back pocket, like drumsticks. Just like, let's go, guys. Yeah. I mean, that's what I do. I don't I mean, this is like not that's not like not normal. <laughs> all right. I'm moving all this shit because we're going to build a foundation so that it actually like looks like a house. You know, um, I'm not very good at this. I'm really more about the gameplay than about anything else. Y'all will see that when we kind of get into it. But uh but uh, yeah, <laughs> we're gonna try. Okay, we're gonna try. Right. Now, why don't you move the fuck out the way? <laughs> move, bitch, get out the way. Get out the way, bitch, get out oh, the way. Oh, they're going to relax in the bed. I think they might be going to, to woohoo, do an autonomous woohoo. Let's go, <laughs> let's go see. That's, yeah, that's what they're doing. We're gonna but, watch this and then I'm gonna yeah, switch over to build mode. Watch it. Take mm -hmm. off the dress first, babe. There we go. There we go. I mean, it's their wedding night, so they should. I mean, hypothetically. And really then it will be time to go to sleep. No other people. <laughs> oh. Moving closer. Here we go. Oh my god, there's like a whole... Wait! Almost. <laughs> What is this? <laughs> I, I, only, I only have like <laughs> <laughs> so. Get it, Karen! Oh! Get it, Karen! Get it! <laughs> Thank you for the biddies, Katie, for that. Oh my god. Oh that my was so well timed. <gasps> She's gonna have a baby. That was baby chimes. That oh. was baby chimes. Okay, they risky they uh, they risky woohooed and she's gonna have a baby. Does he have a baby want? He does not have a baby want. Okay. No. Sorry, dude. What's That's what's okay. my name again? Sorry? You're oh what's Malcolm. That? Malcolm. I actually really love that. Yeah, um, his name is Malcolm Esu now. Oh. Oh good. I'm glad. I was just gonna say the Landon Lagden would have been too much. <laughs> too much. Landon La land grab. 
Yeah, land grab. That's what it was. Yeah, too yeah. much. <laughs> yeah, it would have been too much. I'm so glad, Bree, that you find us funny. <laughs> I mean, we are here to entertain. Oh, thank you for the hydrate, Bree. I need to drink some water. We do be lucky here since we have lots of babies to come. So she's she's ready for a baby, even though they have no walls. <laughs> well, we're building them. We're building them I now. I see that. I'm just holding this as a. I'm just holding this as a um bit until we have actual walls. Soon, they're happening. <laughs> a wall. Whoa. Whoa. Amazing. A wall. No way. Way. <laughs> so yeah, um, I'm really excited to have more community days worked in. I think that's going to be really fun. We love the community days that we have, and I know that you guys like them too. So um, really super excited for that. And yeah. and basically, this is all of this stuff is going to basically be like the new the new interstage window until further notice. And um, and uh we're just i don't know i'm just I, how many ways to say i'm excited because i'm like really freaking super excited <laughs> I'm so excited like i i love what we have i love the discussions we have i love that we have guests um i just i i i'm an english major i love diving into literature and film and all of that kind of stuff and being able to do fun presentations on it and give my opinions about things that I'm passionate about. And so being able to have a platform to do that makes me so excited. Yeah, Landon's actually educated in this shit. Um, I am not. So I will be spreading my um, my layman's opinions all over everywhere. Which Get I ready. love, but you're like, you're like a 10,000 10, times smarter than the average human being. Oh, so, thank you. Um, all of our viewers are, by the way. <laughs> That's true. But, no, we do have really smart viewers. It just means that you are able to like engage in conversation, which is fantastic. And that's all it's... I want is someone to listen to me talk and talk back to me. <laughs> well, we can definitely do that. Oh. Um, okay. I'm not much of a builder in this game. Uh, people, you'll you'll see. This is gonna this is gonna be um, probably a little disappointingly plain. See the mansion. Yeah, Karen was like, "What do you like to do with Sims?" And I was like, "I like to I like to interior decorate. That's what I spend most of my time doing when I." Play and I was the like, Sims. "Oh, <laughs> we play The Sims very differently." <laughs> I, I I I've played one game in The Sims. And it was, it's founders. It's the founders of Hogwarts, which means I needed to make Hogwarts, which means most of my time was about building Hogwarts. Mm -hmm. so. so she had to make a whole castle, which I understand. And I but needed like, to I just, everything I don't play that way. And I just needed to make sure that everything was aesthetically like it matched. And like, mm -hmm. it was like, oh, got to make this part green and this part blue. And I have a whole secret chamber. I have a whole secret chamber underneath the house because, you know, chamber of secrets. What? Absolutely. <laughs> Duh. Duh. So, very differently. Yes. <laughs> we don't do the same things at all. Like, I really am about the gameplay and the drama, and uh, and that's really how I play. Well, so yeah, I enjoy that to to an extent. It's more like I have I have goals that I'm like I need this character to be really good at brewing potions, <laughs> and I need this character to be really good at flirting with people. <laughs> And I won't do anything but that and decorate the house. <laughs> well, we're going to actually have a house. Soon. I'm so excited. She has walls, guys. We're moving up in the world. Oh, and that double door. That double door is fancy as fuck. Oh, good. I was hoping you'd appreciate that. I'm going to figure out what stairs I want. I don't <laughs> stairs think I like on any all of these. The sides. Yeah, we Those start okay. with Theo when the first child is born. We have another. We move up in the world. <gasps> Erica says, I download buildings and redecorate them. That's how I play, too. <laughs> okay, I 110% respect that. Yep, that is exactly how I play. I, I've i got, like, custom lots that I've downloaded, and we'll probably add some of them um, at some point. But, uh, but yeah, that is that is basically how I play. <laughs> Katie says, I, I like... 
Katie says, I like stairs coming out all directions because when Sims get jammed, it's annoying, LOL. They need choices. I too yeah. need choices, Katie, yes. so I understand. <laughs> Sims 2 is awful with that. I freaking hate it. Like these stairs right here, some of these look beautiful, but I won't use any of them. I won't use any of them. I'll just use these guys, these modular stairs. I won't use the real stairs. You'll see when we eventually build a second story on the house. Um, yeah, because that's annoying as fuck. I hate that in this game. It's like one of the one of the things that like really bothers me. Um, but yeah, so I know exactly what you're talking about, Katie. I just be like, I'm just like, I just need choices. This this stair is really hard to get down right now. So give me another staircase, please. Well, yes. that won't we won't need that, um, Erica, because this is a legacy. So we're gonna Landon's gonna birth all of our Sims. Yeah, I am. <laughs> Me and Malcolm. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, I know that there's a character Landon and a real life character Landon, but it's a really funny bit. I'm gonna keep going with it. <laughs> That's right. Uh, I already did, Katie. Were you not watching the act the awkward as fuck butt grab? <laughs> <laughs> she did do that. <laughs> It's for when you get sick of marrying townsies. Listen, I won't get sick of marrying townsies because I'm planning on killing all of them. What? <laughs> what? What about your descendants, though? I mean, not my children. I believe that the way that... Listen, you can play this game any way you want, but just know that the way that I'm voting we play this game is that I get pregnant, I have a child, I kill the husband, marry someone else. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so this is how a legacy challenge works is we keep going each generation so like your children will have, will have children and your children's children will have will have children and like and that's we, how it's that's how a legacy challenge goes. oh i understand but they too can marry they can marry people and kill their husbands as well <laughs> i mean maybe maybe one of your descendants is a little bit like that and that's how that's how that goes <laughs> That's fair. Do whatever you want, but just know that I made it weird because that's what I do. I'm like, hmm, how can I add murder to this plot? <laughs> I mean, we can definitely ha add some murder. Like, I'm not, I'm not opposed. I'm, yeah, it just is, that's, that's just the very land and brand is to be like, hmm, murder. But I definitely like, I, I like to, I do like to definitely fulfill my Sims wants and things like that. Um... So I do, I do like to, to actually, you know, make sure that they're, they're happy. Uh, now that's what they want to be happy, right? So like, for example, if, uh, if a child comes home from school and they never want to do their homework, then guess what? They're not going to do their homework, you know? So they, they reap their own consequences to their actions. Mm. That's fair. No helicopter parenting here. That's right. They, they get to make all those decisions. Are we opposed to getting haunted? I hope not. Go no, start. we'll get haunted because I'll let the Sims die on this lot. And um, we can make like a, a, a separate lot for the gravestones and things like um, like an actual. Oh, what do you call that? Um, graveyard? graveyard. We can make a graveyard or we can keep all the ghosts on this lot. Um, and I typically will keep the ghosts on this lot unless they start annoying me. Like, Again, there gets to be too many of them and they bother me. I think we should definitely have a graveyard. Yeah, we'll have it. Well, we'll have the... to hide the husband's bodies. Right. So we got to have them on this lot. All right. Okay. So since I'm on Zoom, I'm using the camera much more, and I'm just, I'm very excited to be able to for people to see my faces during all of this. Yes. Very soon. Very soon, we'll have land and face cam, um, and it's going to be glorious. I'm entertaining as fuck, guys. It's true. <laughs> It's going to be awesome. Had, I'm really excited for that. I've had exactly zero coffees today, and I feel like I've had five. <laughs> I don't believe you. I thought this was definitely a two-coffee day. This is not a two-coffee day. She's just being wild. This is what happens when I no longer am in school, people. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I usually put all the urns in the basement. I love that level of uh, keeping of keeping souvenirs. Urns in the basement, I hear you. Okay, we can make something like that happen, for sure. Get all the dead Sims pictures and have a room to remember <gasps> Bree! <laughs> wow. Oh, I love this audience. Thank you for <laughs> urns with the portraits. Oh my God, I'm so sorry that we're hijacking this. 
carrot. No, go for it. <laughs> um, I mean, I still, I'm still going to have the goal of doing the legacy, but if y'all come up with fun ideas that make it more entertaining, like we'll do those in addition too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just so we can do, we can do both crazy stuff and, you know, actually play the legacy. Look at that writer's desk. It's hot as fuck. Yep. Is there a limit of the amount of... <laughs> Sorry, I just read something funny. Is there a limit on the amount of people who can be in the house at one time? Eight. Eight, okay. <laughs> I think I need more foundation. Mom. Uh, I need to put the bed says, somewhere. Lunar says, kid, mom, what is that? Landon, all of my dead men. Kid. This is just a shocked face. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Welcome, Jed. <laughs> uh, we are we are really tucked into Sims right now and everybody's having a lot of fun. Yeah, we're planning on killing all of my future husbands. Mm -hmm. As you do. <laughs> As one casually does. That's right. I mean, why not? Sounds wonderful there are, to me. There are a lot of reasons. <sighs> Looking at different wallpapers now for what we want to put in y'all's bedroom. I feel like, uh, I don't know, green. You want something green? Something green. Okay. I'm gonna oh, do this one. <laughs> I saw the light green, but I was like, not that one. <laughs> no, not the light green. We'll do this green. Let's get you a door for your room. Uh, praying mantis vibes is the aesthetic that I hope and pray for. Tormund male pet name Mundy. What is wait? Is the name you want Tormund or Mundy, Jane? I can't tell. Tormund. Oh, to call oh, him Tormund. Mundy, Mundy for short. Oh, I get it. I get it now. Thank you. Like that kind of pet name, not not uh, not like literally naming a pet Mundy. No, the pet. Okay, so the pet's name is Tormund, but then we, or or a child is named Tormund, but you call them Mundy for short, like pet name, nickname. That kind oh, of thing. okay. Jane, is that what you mean? Which do you mean? What Landon said. All right, go to sleep, guys. <laughs> she went from having no walls and now a bedroom door. I'm so happy Landon is moving up in the world. Me That's too, right. Brie. She found her sugar daddy. She married him. And now she's going to have <laughs> she's going to have his baby. And she has a bedroom door. <laughs> That's right. How she's much up. did we get from land grab? Um, it was like 20, 20 K, 20 something K. Not that rich. <laughs> no, but the, same, the money, money works differently in Sims. Um, no, I just given, I'm just, that was Oh, more... he's pretty hungry. Oh, I need to get them. Okay. Let him starve. He's served his purpose. <laughs> it's just, it's late. I want them to sleep. No, that makes sense. They should sleep. You want, and she's got to work. <laughs> 4 AM too. Mm-hmm. Ridiculous. I can't even pick that up. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it definitely got us started, so we have all this going now. Okay. Well, if you're not going to sleep, I guess you can come that, open Are this. we going to just read bookcases out? Like, we're going to leave the bookcase out in the uh, yard, and that's where they're just going to read. Um, we're going to buy a better bookcase in a little while. Oh, we're moving up yeah. in the world. I love this. This is this is trash bookcase of trash books. We don't need this. We'll get a better one. Did he get up and go somewhere? <laughs> yeah. I told him to go open the computer. So we get to go into his inventory now and uh, get that. Makes sense. Oh, he's got E2 Electronics Super Center. I guess he owns a business. And I didn't realize that. I guess I've not married him before. So he must own a business in the um, Blue Water District. <laughs> I understand that, this, that you've played this game and stuff like that, but I love the line. I guess I've not married him before. <laughs> I guess I haven't. Brand new, brand new marriage. 
brand brand new marriage. <laughs> Erica, that makes a great point. He's a land grab. They grab land. They do. That is they, exactly they, what they're known for. They do be being grabbing land. Yep. And Malcolm grabbed in an electronics store. <laughs> Um, so he wants to get a job in the athletics career. So we're going to see if athletics is still available today. It was on Monday when she looked for a job, but who knows if it's still there now. So hopefully he can get that. Is he unhappy with his life as an owner, a business owner? I guess. I mean, it says he's unemployed and he doesn't have any talent badges. So I guess he owns that business, but he's not actually done anything with it. We married, we married a trust fund baby with not that big of a trust fund who has done yeah. nothing for us. Okay. Exactly. He's a wannabe <laughs> trust fund baby, I guess. I mean, that's what it seems like. Damn it. That's fine. Maybe he'll make it big in the athletics career. Maybe. Yeah. We'll have to get him a job there. Bree, um, you should definitely clip some of your favorite ones uh, or tell me what they are and kind of when they were and I'll go clip them or something like that so oh that we God. can have those for posterity. Oh, I love that. Okay. So there wasn't one. Time for Why don't you clean that up? They need some appliances in here. Let's get them. A microwave? <laughs> uh, yeah, but I was thinking more like they need... Oh. That's a dishwasher. Useful things, guys. Mm -hmm. I was just like, ugh. They're going to get a dishwasher and... Is this? Yeah, this is the trash compactor, so they're going to get that. They can throw their stuff away and wash their dishes. Yeah, I know you're hungry. You're going to make food in a second. I want you to clean this up. Oh, he can't because it's in the corner. I'll have to figure that out later. <clears throat> All right, you can serve. No, you can just have a toaster pastry. I don't think you're going to make food for your lady because she's going to wake up and immediately want to go to work, I think. That sounds about right. Yeah, so these are all of the um, these are all of the different changes that we're making to Interstage Window. I'm so glad that you guys are excited for them. Um, is there any are there any that you have questions on or that you wanted us to talk about more? That anybody's anybody's unsure on? Sorry, go ahead, Landon. Oh, I said a good question. No, I think that we're just gonna like. I'd love to hear what everyone's ideas are. Oh, Lunar missed it all. Oh no. Okay. Well, if that's your question, I'm gonna have to say watch the vod. I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah, things are a changing, but they're good changes. Yeah, they are good changes. All right. So he's gonna stay home. I have a a lot, a community lot that's um that's a a job center where they can go and find any job like at any time but i'm not going to add that in the first generation because i feel like that's cheating we'll add that at some point in a later generation fair oh yeah you did really miss everything that's where we were talking about like our community days and things i'm so sorry that's okay though we have the vods and we post those so. and it's a very it entertaining episode today according to brie so yes it'll I mean, be there's been lots watch. of good kit there's been, been lots of good kitten playing too it doesn't so look like they're playing right play. now but yeah. All right, why don't you go pay all the bills? Yeah, what else are you good for? Mm -hmm. <laughs> they need a better shower, too. This this thing is yeah, trash. Yeah, Landon and Malcolm, you're married now. You deserve a good shower. That's right. Let's see. Get this guy. Oh, love it. You can take a shower. Well, he wants to be best friends forever with his wife, so that's good. I'm so glad until she kills him. What? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we can do that when he gets old. Like, we can, we can, we can do something like that. We can do something like that. Do whatever. But he's got to make us. He's got to make us some babies first, okay? Doing it for the memes. So that's all. I'm just <laughs> meaning here. Yeah, we've had one, so we need to have. We need to have an heir and a spare. That's what I'm hearing. exactly. We need at least two kids. Just in case, just in case we accidentally murder the other one. Right. What? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Listen, you okay, never know. we should have known that this is where I was going to end up because 
Karen asks me when we're prepping for this episode, she's like, so for like rewards for region for region like claims and prizes, what would you like to see happen? And the only thing I could come up with was we kill a sim. <laughs> <laughs> Are they in the shower together? No, she's at work. She's at work. Oh, she's Katie. Yeah. Uh, Katie missed the house build. Yeah, they have walls now, so um, so that's all good. Yeah, so he needs she's, more food. He's moving too. up in the world. It's really mm-hmm. been a great character development for her to go it from really having has. no walls to having lots of walls and a bedroom door. Yeah, he's being vigorous. He's making a mess because he's a messy sim too. So um, they'll the messier Sims versus the cleaner Sims. Like the messy Sims are more likely to to make a mess when they shower. That's so funny. Mm-hmm. That's okay. That's why he looked like that. But they will have to clean up together in order to bond. Yep. Okay, we're gonna let him eat. I actually I I can't make it thirty more minutes. I have to pee. I'll be right back, guys. Oh, but you no! can watch him eat while I go. Oh no, guys. She's left me alone. There's no table. He has no table to eat at. We'll have to change that, Karen. He deserves a table. My husband deserves a table. How's everyone doing? Do we have any questions or anything like that? Quick, burn down the house. Okay. I don't have control, though. I would, but no. <laughs> it's like a lawnmower spraying grass. Uh, yeah, it's true. <laughs> I think we married the youngest son of the land grab family, uh, which means that he's useless to us. <laughs> but it's fine. He'll make a lovely husband. I hope Karen put a smoke detector in there. Yeah. Yeah, me too. A fire would be tragic. I hope she has her earphones in so she can still hear me trying to talk. I'm into the cat statue outside, sort of like a temple vibe going on in the yard. Yes, this we worship, we worship cats here. Um, I like it too because I think there's also like interesting other statues as well. Hello, welcome yes, I back. could hear you. Oh, <laughs> yes, I could definitely hear you. Um, and I did buy a smoke detector, but I can't remember if I put it back. Oh, we shouldn't have. I had it. That on. I had it there. Yeah, I don't think we have it anymore. But we need a smoke detector and a burglar alarm. That was a good reminder. Man, oh man. But what about this exciting life that we're living? Also, <laughs> our table. Yeah, we can make them a dining room. They probably need it. <laughs> <laughs> like, there's one chair at the computer and one chair just randomly placed. Yep. <laughs> uh, next to the window. And I'm like, mm-hmm. no, like serve a proper table. Uh, but yes, we can definitely do that. Thank you. We need more, we need more foundation. Oh, he needs to clean that up. I we want that room. jacket he's wearing. I also It's a nice that. jacket. He's got a good aesthetic. I mean, there's a reason why we married him. Right. I mean, he's, he is definitely the Draco Malfoy of The Sims 2. So, you know, I had coming into this. So it, it was and it was like, so it was so um, beautiful that he happened to be part of the welcome party, you know, and then so, just uh, wanted to also beat the shit out of uh, Landon with a pillow. Right, exactly. And that's apparently how she expresses her love. Um, mm-hmm. Cool. I had a question, but I don't remember what it is. So okay. okay. Oh well, thank you so much for hanging out with us, Celeste Graf. Um, we're happy to have you here. It's been super fun. Of course, come back next week. We're here every Wednesday or Wednesday. We're here. No, every we're not. And we're not here any. We're not here at all Wednesday. <laughs> Landon, are you I, starting your own stream on your own Twitch? Is that's what is that what's happening? Yeah, I Wednesday decided. Stream? That, I decided that there wasn't enough going on in my life. Uh, and that I really just wanted to fill it with Twitch streams. <laughs> no, I'm not. I just, my Everybody brain, peer like, pressure Landon to make her own stream. What would I talk about? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe you would play video games since you've never played video games. Yes, maybe I could. <laughs> it would be like Landon <laughs> plays cool all these games for the first time. Yeah, watch Landon fail and get frustrated. Um, 
No, it wouldn't be like that, would it? Oh, I mean, I'm, I don't know. Maybe, we'll see. Probably not. I don't know why I'm even <laughs> saying maybe when the answer in my head is a definite no. <laughs> yeah, then why are you even saying maybe? Don't tease us like that. Oh, man. Listen, we get famous enough, D&D &D Wednesdays. That's all I'm saying. Okay, we can do that. That could be a stream. That could be a fun-ass stream. Yeah. See? You said maybe too and you didn't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> It could be, it could be. It could be. Okay, so there's the room. Um, need a table and chairs now. All right, let's get them an actual dining table. I'm just so proud of our girl here who's, who's just gotten to work twice and married somebody and has come back to a full house. That's right. I mean, that's not how you live your life. That's how that, that's how real life works. <laughs> that's, oh, okay. Uh, well, I'm just going to wait for the welcoming party to come then and mm -hmm. welcome me to the neighborhood so that I can find my rich... Yeah, and then you just pick the richest one in the welcome party. <laughs> the blonde yeah. one, the rich one, and the one with clear daddy issues. Right. Uh, and that's where you go from there. The land grabs definitely have daddy issues. Actually, let's go look at his family tree and see which other how because and like all of them are named Malcolm. There's like four Malcolm land grabs, um, in in the Sims lore. <laughs> yes, the Sims has lore. Okay, I so, love that he's yes. Yeah, so you can see like his dad is Malcolm Landgrab the third, so he's actually the fourth. Um, and Margaret Landgrab is his mom, and then Malcolm Landgrab the second is his uh grandfather. Yeah, so, yeah, he's Malcolm Landgrab the fourth. A long line of Malcolm Landgrab. I love this for us. <laughs> I really do. I guess by the fourth generation, they've squandered a lot of their money, so that's why he doesn't actually have a lot of money, but he or, still acts like it. Yeah, he still really acts like it. I'm about to be like, or maybe we just need to kill off his grandparents and his parents, and he'll inherit a bunch of money. That's how it works. <laughs> I don't know if I don't know if they're alive. If the other Malcolms are alive, I think because they were grayed out, they're not. I um, also doubt that that happens. Also, you don't think he because they're grayed out? Oh my god, he's an orphan. This is tragic as I fuck. I think he might be. I'm. I don't remember exactly how that works. About if they're gray because it's a different generation, or if they're gray because they passed away, or they live in a different household. I don't remember. Could it be that they're gray because we haven't met them yet? No. Okay. I tried. It's either like they live in a different household, or they're dead, or I just don't. But I just don't remember. Gray portraits are dead. Okay, so Erica thinks it's because they're dead too. That's what she recalls. Oh, that's what I. That's what I thought too, but God. I just wasn't sure. So yeah, they're Our dead. Poor Malcolm has. Everyone in his family is dead. He is literally the all my friends are dead dinosaur. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, no wonder he has no money left. That's right. He wandered it all on drugs, alcohol, and gambling to, to starve off the utter sadness from being an orphan. Oh. Right. So he took the last bit of money and he started a business. It didn't do very well. <laughs> So he instead, he decided it. to get to get married to a girl he just met because fuck you, dead dad, and um and that's how and Malcolm now, lives his life. And now she's planning on killing him. God damn it! This is tragic. I it's made it. I did the tragic. thing, guys. But I mean, that's that's exclamation Landon, right? Why make things happy when you can make them tragic? Okay. I wonder if they either of them have. Um, Lunar that badass deleted quickly. It always does with me. I don't know. I don't know if you've been able to see the side of me yet. Uh, oh but my god! We really like to take things from a two, a level two to like a level eleven out of nowhere. It's nice absolutely. <laughs> also, um, Erica hashtag the last land grab. I see you. I feel you. Yes. <laughs> also, no wonder why he changed his last name. He doesn't want to be associated with that family anymore. Ugh. That's right. That's what the happened. Grief, the grief is making him sleep all day and be unemployed. Man, oh man, this poor tragic son of a bitch. Why have I forgotten how to navigate to this one spot? I was trying to... Oh, yay, she got promoted! Good oh, job, goodness. Landon. She's, She's now a dolphin tank now, cleaner. So. She's now what? A dolphin tank cleaner. 
that's so cool. I love that that's the second job. <laughs> the second yep. job. You go from like, we're, you're going to chum some fish to you're going to get in the tank with the dolphins and clean their tank. This is the dream I want. Okay, this is it. Oh, what did we find? I found the the thing to get them the um their benefits for their aspirations. I couldn't remember where it was, but I found it. Got you. What are his aspirations? Do we know yet? No, yeah, he's a fortune sim. Oh, so he wants to be rich. Mm-hmm. Yep, okay. that's his goal oh. is to get make is make money. Okay, kiddo. Better get to work then. Okay, so you need to use the bathroom. And but he's sleeping. Okay. Oh, her hygiene goes way down at work. I mean, to be okay, fair, so it, she's in the water with dirty ass animals cleaning dirty ass things. That's true. So it's been suggested the dolphins are the most intelligent species on the planet. So rightly so, they need people to clean up after them. Thoughts of calculus, waveform particle physics, and balancing beach balls on one's nose leave little time to tidy up a tank. You've got the mechanical skill, they don't, so use them. All right, she doesn't need to be. Don't worry about that. Why don't you go take a shower after work? Also, I hate to break it to Sims, but dolphins aren't the smartest creatures on Earth. However, they're the most they're one of the most violent. I believe it. They are famous for doing terrible things to each other. And humans. Yep. <laughs> they may be smarter than humans. Yeah, that's maybe that. We don't know. I mean, it's not hard. Have you met some humans? Yeah, I wish not. <laughs> Me feeling feisty today. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Wait, so Thumper, are you saying, you're like, well, so are we. And I'm like, Thumper, are you not a human? I'm just curious. Okay. I feel like you, I feel like that that might be Thumper lore that you might have just like, Elevated to the higher level. Yeah, Katie, humans aren't getting any smarter. Dolphins he wants dumb. to buy a dresser and a, a new counter. What's wrong with our counters, Malcolm? Well, he's he wants, off. He wants he's like, new counters. He's like, how did you spend my $20,000 on these ugly ass counters? <laughs> well, he wants them to cost at least $500 or 500 simoleons. Um, let's see. What are some fancy counters? Okay, so I need these are up. I really like these the most expensive oh, ones a lot. I got you. I think we're gonna go with that. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, if you ever like ever want to get into a deep dark hole of the internet, Google the terrible acts that dolphins do. Because you'll be surprised. Sounds it sounds like a fabulous time. It's a lot. <laughs> I appreciate the green accents and aesthetics. I know that you're not like all about it, but I appreciate it. Oh, I'm glad. Oh, look different. Yeah, Erica. Yep, that's mm. exactly right. Is that the counters are too basic? He's a fortune sim. He wants to be living that high life. He needs to be making more money if he's going to be living that high life. Does he have a job? Did we decide that? He, we, I tried to get him a job, but um, it didn't work out because he wants a job in the athletics career and that was That's not right. available. Well, right now he's a layabout. Mm-hmm. Let's see. We're going to have to oh, that's delete a those. <laughs> Sorry? Oh. Well, it wasn't available on the on the fancy ones. Um, yeah. But let's move this so we can get rid of these counters. And instead, match these. Putting the fun in functional. Oh, those are cement. Oh my god. What's cement? The bookshelf. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. And blocks and panels of wood. Uh-huh. <laughs> Alright. 
And now he wants also a he wants a dresser in his room. Okay, we can do that, Malcolm. Mm, where are the dressers at? No, it's not under hobbies. Is it miscellaneous? Yes, it's miscellaneous. Okay. Let's get you a dresser. Thumper, you're so funny. Putting the fun in functional, which is a nice change for my usual putting the fun in executive dysfunction. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, God, mentally, being mentally ill is awesome. Yay. I think we're going to have to make that. their room a little Wait, bit bigger. Cool ass rich house. Yep. We're working on it. It's it's growing. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. All right. But I think this is probably oh, the dresser was supposed to cost at least a thousand. Well, I didn't I, we didn't have enough money for that. We have to make more money. <laughs> and his trust fund. God <laughs> damn it. It's all gone on building us a house that actually has stuff in it that we can use. Sims all right. so jealous. I want that bed. I want all the things. I do too. <laughs> okay, it's like actually that. Landon, it's actually that time. It's time oh, to stop the Sims now? and do a good news article. A good news article? Yeah. Awesome. Okay, y'all. So we have we have gotten our legacy started. Um I hope you had a lot of fun. By next time we should be seeing Landon's baby bump <gasps> and um having our having our first baby. Next, she do next be uh, time. Yep. Oh. She had the chimes. She had the chimes on her woohoo. <laughs> I I love that. I hope that that's how it happens in real life too. Mm -hmm. I mean, Just why wouldn't it? I'm. <laughs> can any can any first time mothers tell me or parents in general tell me that if uh, you chimed when you found out you were pregnant? Thank you. <laughs> did you hear the Sims bells? I did not. I don't get the Sims sound. No. Oh, I mean, it, when you you hear these bells when you um. When, oh. you're, when you're pregnant in The Sims. So that was my question in, <laughs> in real life. All right, baby camp. All right, so our good news this time is rubber made from dandelions is making tires more sustainable, a truly a wondrous plant. Wow, okay, so you can have, you can make rubber from dandelions. I didn't know that. I didn't either, but I figured that this was a really great article because it's springtime right now. Which means that at least here where I live, and I think other parts of the United States, and maybe even the world, dandelions are rocking it at the moment. They're so happy and everywhere. And it's my, one of my favorite things because they're so good for the bees, really great for the environment. Everyone treats them like they're weeds, but they're not. They're nature's wonderful plant. And um, yeah, you can make, you can turn dandelions into rubber, or at least in the Soviet Union, you can. <laughs> <Which is laughs> Awesome. In Soviet Russia, dandelion Soviet. is rubber. <laughs> That's not a rush, good Russian reversal joke. It isn't even one, but I don't know. It just I started talking and then I realized that that's not what I should have said. Oh well, too late. It's not actually um, a Russian reversal joke, but you know. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, a huge part of making rubber and originally making rubber was using rubber trees, um, but now you can do it with dandelions. That's amazing. Uh, and they're much easier to grow. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, dandelions grow anywhere. You sprinkle some dandelion seeds and you'll never get rid of the dandelions. You know, they just, they don't stop. Yep. So it's this really cool, like, it's a really in-depth article, or like more in-depth for our good news articles, at least. Um, but it's a really, really cool just concept of a, another thing that we can use, especially because... <laughs> because rubber plants are becoming more and more difficult and rubber trees are becoming more, more and more difficult to farm because of the need for extra rubber. And it's like this, again, dangerous for uh, the, not the economy, but for the environment and more expensive on the economy. And so finding other solutions is good. Is it perfect? No, but it's good. And so that's awesome. Yeah, mm -hmm. and use less water, absolutely. Yeah. This is all, this is really good. I mean, a, a way to make a weed not a weed, I think, is is always wonderful, right? Yeah. So this is one. This is really good. Uh, hopefully, more companies decide to decide to do this and uh, use dandelions for for rubber oh. because they're a wonderful plant and they're they're helpful to the environment. 
And then also, if you're using dandelions, number one thing that bees eat, dandelions, or number mm -hmm. one flower that bees use is dandelions. Mm -hmm. So you then help, if you're growing dandelions for this stuff, even for a little while, you help the bee population. Yep. Which awesome. the bee population is really struggling right now. Um, still, like there's struggles with bee populations in a lot of areas. So this is all yeah. good. So I thought that was a really cool thing. And save the bees. I agree, Bree. Yeah, that's um, right. All bees are fine. Thumper, it's the wasps that we hate. But all of them. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> I mean, wasps are pollinators too, but yeah, yeah they, they can they, they can fuck off of, from my area. <laughs> they don't pollinate nearly as much. No. And wasps don't even pollinate, so they can go fuck themselves too. <laughs> yeah, bye. <laughs> yeah, small native bees are having struggles instead of snuggles. Yeah, it's not good. But this is nice. I like this. Good article. And it also, Thumper, it matters the kind of honeybee because the European honeybee is different than like the African mm -hmm. honeybee and stuff like that too. So yep. save all bees is basically That's all right. I'm going to say. <laughs> yes. Okay. But, all right. But like wasps so, can go die. <laughs> for real. I'm going to argue with Thumper about this in the comments. Anyway, <laughs> uh, this has been a wonderful episode. I'm feeling giggity. Giggity. I that's the word G giggly or like giggly? giddy uh yeah sure G giggity is what um uh, no, quagmire says on family guy i don't think that's what you meant to say that's not what i meant to say <laughs> uh, giddy giddy that's the word yeah yep um i just am excited for all this new stuff that's happening with esw me too me too so um so a couple of things um Next week, we are going to have, I think it's another like traditional episode. So we're going to be playing some more Sims 2, right? Yeah, I think all of our, like our, most of our changes are starting in June. Yeah. Um, I do think we have a community, no, we have community day next week. Oh, that's right. Because you're not going to be here. I'm not going to be here. Maybe. That's right. Okay. So Landon is preoccupied next week. So what that means is next week, we're going to do our first stardew valley community streams so i'll be playing stardew valley there's no topic or anything it's going to be really chill if y'all want to play stardew valley with me then um please join that stream on saturday and we'll play together i've i've i know that there's mods that can make it so that like a gajillion people can play the same farm i've not installed that i've not tested it i just want to see how it goes without that mod so what that means is um up to three other people can play with me i think you can have up to to four or something like that or maybe it's eight in that game i'll have to double check but I, I think it might be four so if you're interested in playing stardew valley with me then show up at noon so that we can get going i'm gonna host it just like we do with among us and there'll be like a code that you can put in to play on the farm with me we're gonna start a brand new farm so we'll choose everything you know what type of farm we're gonna do and all that sort of good stuff I think um, if I want to play, what console can I use? So there, the cross, there is no cross play if you use a console. You have to get the PC one if you want to play with me. You can get the game on Switch or anything like that, but you're not going to be able to do the the multiplayer if you get that. To do multiplayer, you need to get it for PC or Mac. So yeah, sorry, Katie, um, but it does have to be PC or Mac if you want to do the cross play. Can't be the console version. Good question. So yeah, that's what we're doing next week. Um, and then the other thing that I wanted to say is on Thursday's stream, y'all definitely need to come to that because that stream is going to be all about seeing the kittens. So I'm going to have a different channel point redeem instead of the regular baby cam where you spend it and we turn the camera on. The baby cam is going to be on the whole stream, but y'all will have a channel point redeem where for 10 minutes I'll swap the game and the baby cam so you get big baby cam on the stream so that's how we're going to do thursday and the game we're going to be playing is pets five um that's a series of uh, pet simulation games that i played when i was a child and i uh, was super obsessed with them so i'm going to be showing you guys that game and we're going to get you know big baby cam yes exactly thumb first so y'all will get to see the kittens all um in all their glory <laughs> on thursday um, okay, so those were the things that I wanted to make sure that we said before the end of the stream. So with that, Landon, where can everybody find you? Uh, you can find me on Instagram at landinmaine, 
it's a pun. Uh, and also, uh, I'm still doing tarot stuff, so you can find me at my uh, tarot account on TikTok, which is bumping, which is Land in Reverie. It's also a pun. Uh, so those are the two places that I'm most active. So you can find me there. And Fabulous. Karen, where can they find you? Okay, so you can find me right here. We stream on Thursdays and Saturdays. And um, you can also find me on YouTube. That's where I post all of my VODs. And also we have Spare Room, which for this month it is still every Wednesday. But as we talked about next month, it's going to move to every other Wednesday. Um, I am put all my socials there. The social media that I'm active on is Twitter, so that's where I would recommend following me. It's mostly advertisements, but every once in a while, I have hot takes and retweets and stuff like that. Um, you can also support me by subscribing to the Twitch channel or um, supporting me on Patreon, whatever you prefer. I mean, y'all know how that works, right? Every content creator does those things. I'm not any different in regards to those, so all the normal things, you know where to find them. And, uh, and that's it. We also have our Discord server. Let me put that in there. Yeah. There's yep. a new the channel, which means the memes are hopping. Yes. So I split out from the other, from media. Uh, I gave memes their own channel. So we now have a nice meme basket if you need to refresh your meme supply. <laughs> all right. So that's it. That's all. Thank you guys so much for coming today. It was so fun to start Sims. I absolutely love Sims and I'm looking really forward to playing more with you guys. So, um, but next week we're going to do Stardew Valley. So I will see y'all then. And, um, sorry, go ahead, Landon. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Yes. Okay. Now for who we're going to raid, I've got a couple choices for you guys. So tell me what y'all would be more interested in. Rival is playing, um, Remnant from the Ashes. Cucumber Cow is playing Kerbal Space Program. And App Appalachian is playing um, Mass Effect. I guess that's probably the new Mass Effect um, remake that came out of the original. Thank you for the applause, Bri. What do you think sounds more interesting, Landon? Kerbal Space Program, Mass Effect, or Remnant? Uh, space Program. So Thumper says Mass Effect. Landon says Kerbal Space Program. Okay, we need a tiebreaker. Oh. Two, it, between those two, Mass Effect I, or Kerbals? Oh, Jane says Mass Effect as well. Okay, I'm sorry, we're going Mass Effect. It's fine, I've been outvoted several times uh, this week by my own friends. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> we still love you, Landon. All right, let me just get this raid going. It should be illegal to have long Twitch names because they're annoying to type when it's time to raid. Yeah, it should also be illegal to outvote me, but that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> all right all right we're gonna be um going into raid mass effect in just a few seconds thank you guys for much so much for coming today i will see you on thursday or on saturday or maybe both all right bye y'all have fun see you later don't forget to be awesome yes and don't forget to make it a great day